Hey, good morning. <clears throat> Post Christmas hangover. Is that what you're dealing with? Hey, I know what you feel like. Uh, look, I wanted to share with you, it just got me thinking about a new project that I'm working on called the, uh, the Energetic Leader. And um, in that, I'm uncovering the 10 enemies of ener energy and going to um, identify those and show you how you can overcome those. And today I was thinking about um, battling, I guess, with the Christmas season being over, battling um, four of them and how they, I wanted to show you how they kind of all work together and kind of have a compound effect. At least they do for me and for a lot of other uh, people that I've, that I've worked with. First, I want to tell you, I saw a, uh, I saw a student of mine um, at, at church uh, a few weeks ago and she uh, she was from a she was from out of town and uh, she came to she was in the class at the college that I've taught at uh, the hundred times life system and she saw me and she was kind of hiding her her um, cinnamon rolls or whatever pastry it was like I was gonna you know chastise her or whatever and, and that's not what I'm about that's not what I do if you've if you read the hundred times life or, or heard me talk about the system. I'm not an advocate of, of dieting. I'm an advocate of a s sustained lifestyle change. And to do that, I believe in approaching healthy eating from a 75% standpoint. I mean, you know, shoot for three out of every four meals. So this time of the year, the Christmas season, it's probably my worst time as far as letting myself go a little bit. I do let myself enjoy the 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 sweets and uh, and I and the 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 dinners with the mac and cheese and and all those things like that um, and uh, it it does play a a, a, a role and this is kind of how it affects our energy now for me what will happen is is I'm not and I'm also not always as good about my workout I'm not going to work out typically on on Christmas and uh, that was yesterday and I d I didn't do that of course didn't get a whole lot of sleep to the night before that kind of happens and so what happens is for me um, you've got enemy number two which is dehydration I tend to probably be a little bit more dehydrated this time of the year from uh, 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 what I'm drinking and not drinking enough water and uh, the, the, the heat the gas heat that is around us there's not as much uh, humidity and I tend to probably be a little bit more dehydrated which is enemy number two but then you have it also enemy number five six and seven which is poor fuel in your tank and I just mentioned that as far as some of the things that I'm eating or we're eating a little bit more number six is a uh, lack of movement not exercising as regularly as, as I should and number seven um, poor sleep now for me they all play together because when I don't eat as well, then I don't seem to have as much energy to want to work out or be as motivated. And then when I don't work out, I don't sleep as well, well as I should. I was up this morning at four o'clock and look, I preach early morning routine, but I don't always want to get up at four o'clock. And I didn't want to get up at four o'clock today, but I was up wide awake. And for me, when I don't, when I miss two or three days of exercise, and I like it to be pretty intense for me because then at the end of the day, my body is pretty tired and I have a much more restful sleep. Then when I have that more restful sleep, I tend to have another better workout the next day and it kind of plays together. And, and then we put more fuel in the tank. See, see how it all, it all works together. And before we know it, we get in this little vicious cycles of those things. And that's what I'm just trying to help you with. So I hope that helps make sense of how these enemies are working together. I'm excited to to bring this to you. I don't know when it will be, but it's, you know, so I'm, I'm this week making, um, making my, my goals and priorities for the year. And that's definitely one of my goals is to get that, get that book out. I'm going to try to make it a shorter read so, uh, you can read it, um, easier and, uh, help you out. So I hope you have a great rest of the holiday season. Don't beat yourself up if you're not been on track always do and that's what I that's what I was getting at that's what I did today I went ahead and pushed through and I just finished a, a good workout 
did a little bit better than I thought I would do, so I'm happy about that. Got a win for the day, and I'm um, going to really try to focus on trying to um, eat a little bit better today and uh, hydrate well, and and um, then hopefully I'll sleep better tonight and be back ready to go tomorrow. You can do the same thing too. All right, have a great rest of the week, rest of the year. God bless.